As a plane spotter, have you ever been intrigued by the continuous spinning of aircraft wheels after takeoff? You might wonder if they stop spinning in time for the gear up position or if pilots apply brakes before stowing the landing gears. The answer depends on the type of aircraft and the systems installed in the landing gears. But this video will explore various manual and automated mechanisms that ensure safe stowaway of wheels after takeoff and during flight. So, a typical landing gear retraction system utilizes pressurized hydraulic fluid to actuate various linkages to raise and lower the gear. When the pilot commands the landing gear in the up position, hydraulic fluid is directed into the gear line. The fluid flows through sequenced valves and down locks to the gear actuating cylinders. The system also incorporates a hydraulic reservoir to contain excess fluid and to provide a means of determining the system fluid level. Each gear has two limit switches installed, one dedicated to extension and one for retraction. It should be fairly obvious that aircraft wheels are heavy. On larger aircraft, the wheels are heavy spinning items that act as gyroscopes. The principle of conservation of angular momentum means that there is a tendency for the spin of a system to remain constant unless subjected to an external force. When the pilot commands the gear up on most large aircraft, the main landing gears turn sideways for stowing. Changing the orientation comes with complications. The centripetal and centrifugal forces generated through the spin would cause wobble leading to uncontrollable vibrations throughout the aircraft. Wobble may also damage the internal systems of the landing gears, which comprise many electrical and hydraulic links. Since we don't want any of this, how do wheels stop spinning? In some aircraft, pilots must briefly apply brakes to the main landing gear before activating the gear up in the cockpit. The application of the disc brakes stops the spinning of the wheel before they are stowed sideways. Smaller aircraft with lighter retractable landing gear systems may require manual brake application. Interestingly, large modern airliners will auto brake and stop the spinning when the gear up is commanded. For example, on a 747, the requirement from the pilots is to pull the gear lever and let the aircraft do the rest. The aircraft uses auto brakes as part of the gear up process. It's a similar situation on the 737. As for nose wheels, they're free to spin up into the wheel bay. There, they contact a friction brake to slow and stop the spin. Snobber units, or friction brakes, are generally installed within the nose gear compartment since there is no braking system on the nose gear. There are also cylindrical brushes installed within the bay. These clean the tyres as they slow down. The brushes around the periphery of the wheel bay housings also reduce aerodynamic drag and noise by closing off the gap between the tyres and the bay walls. Did you know about this before watching this video? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.